In this sewing tutorial, I will show you how to sew a skirt with an elastic waistband. This is a midi skirt with lining, no zipper necessary, the elastic waistband is exposed. I sewed the skirt from a micro pleated fabric with pleats that are set. The skirt is made from one pleated panel and has only one side seam. It has some gathers at the waist. This is an easy project for beginners. You don't even need any pattern. What you will need? Fabric for the skirt, elastic for waistband, fabric for the lining, serger or sewing machine, regular sewing notions. Let me tell you a few words about my fabric choice for the elastic waist skirt. I have decided to go with pre-pleated fabric, which is sometimes called plissé fabric. In French the word plissé means pleated. Pleating is one of the types of fabric processing. Pleated fabric is created by the formation of many symmetrical folds, which are usually laid in one direction. The width of the folds varies and the pleating itself can go both over the entire width of the product or in its individual sections in groups at certain intervals. A variety of fabrics are suitable for creating pleats. Cotton and linen, silk and polyester, wool, velvet, even leather. For this elastic waist skirt I use semi-transparent polyester fabric. You can buy pleated fabric online, but I didn't find much on Amazon. But Etsy has the best choice. Check out the link below this video. For the skirt you will need about 2 yards of pleated fabric. It can be much less. Just calculate your hip measurement. Plus add 10 inches for cutting and stitching. For example, my hip measurement is 41 inches, so I need about 51 inches of pleated fabric. But they don't sell fabric in stores in inches. They sell fabric by yards. Then how many yards do I need? I have a fabric conversion calculator for this. The calculator will give me the closest yard fraction, which is greater than 51 inches, and with that I can go to the store to buy fabric. Go to this link, which you see on the screen, and you will see that I need one and a half yards of pleated fabric. Look, I need to know how many yards are 51 inches. So here I put inches, here I put 51 and here is the button convert. Press the button and see here you can uh, see many things but we need how many yards it is. So, so it is 1 yard and 4 eighths. 4 eighths of a yard is half a yard. So 51 inches, I need to buy one and a half yard of fabric. And if you want to calculate something else, you press start over button. Take the following body measurements for the skirt with elastic waist. Waist, hips and desired length of the skirt. I have a tutorial on how to take body measurement correctly. Check the link under this video. Prepare and cut the fabric for the elastic waist skirt. Lay the pleated fabric on the table. Don't stretch the fabric, let the pleats lay free and unstretched. I have learned that the pleated fabric has peaks and valleys. Check for the beginning of the fabric if it was cut correctly along the same peak or valley. If it's not, cut it straight. Measure the distance equal to your hip measurement parallel to the solvages. Add 1 inch to this number and cut the fabric along one peak or valley. Now determine where to make the next cut. The fabric solvage on pleated fabric can be used as a skirt hem. 
So now I need to cut the waistline. I measure the desired skirt length from the solvage plus half an inch and cut. Uh, but the best way to cut my pleated chiffon like fabric is like rip it. Just rip it. Then the cut will be very straight. So now I have this rectangle for the skirt. That's all. So easy, right? The next thing is cutting lining fabric. I cut about the same rectangle from the lining fabric, but the lining has to be a little smaller, especially the length of it. So the lining is not visible under the skirt. So here are the measurements for the lining. Hips by length of the skirt minus one and a half inch. Now let's make the skirt seam. I strongly advise you to use your serger for making this skirt. The seam of the skirt needs to be without any puckers and the skirt should hang smoothly at the seam. The seam has to be practically invisible when you wear the skirt. So the serger seams are very good for this and they are also stretchy and durable. And the serger is also very fast. It sews the seam and finishes the raw edges of the fabric at once. And the good part is also you don't need to press the seam with an iron. I used the four thread to needle serger stitch. Check your settings on scrap fabric before making the stitch. If you would like to know how to use a serger, I have a very helpful course, Serger Made Simple. Check it out at the link below this video. Pin the fabric before stitching right sides together. Match either two peaks or two valleys on the seam line. Stitch the seam. Now we need to hem the lining of the elastic waist skirt. I use the roll hem stitch of my serger. A very nice finish. The next step. Make the side seam on the lining. Use the same serger stitch for thread to needle stitch. Now let's connect the skirt and the lining at the waist. First, mark some points on the skirt and on the lining. I prefer the seam to be the side seam. But I need to mark the front and back center and the other side of the skirt and the lining with small cuts. I think they call them notches. Fold the skirt and mark the other side opposite to the seam. Fold the skirt in half again and mark center front and center back. Do the same with the lining. Pin the lining to the skirt. The wrong side of the lining goes to the wrong side of the skirt. Align all the notches you just made. The side seam of the skirt should be aligned with the notch on the side of the skirt. The side seam of the lining should be aligned with the notch on the side of the skirt. And front and back center notches should be aligned too.
using a regular sewing machine, sew two rows of straight stitches to gather the skirt at the waistline. Use very strong thread so it doesn't break when you gather the skirt. Put your tension setting at zero for gathering and the stitch length at four or five. Now let's prepare elastic for the elastic waist skirt. There are different types of elastic. For the elastic waist skirt it's better to use wide elastic. My elastic is one and a half inches wide. Choose one that's coordinating with your fabric. First of all measure the elastic around your waist so it's comfortable and not too tight or too loose. Cut the elastic adding mm, 3 quarter of an inch to the elastic measurements for elastic seams. Sew the white elastic into a band. For this sew the short edges of the elastic together using a regular sewing machine. It's better to use a special stretch stitch when sewing elastic and a special stretch needle. I have very helpful tutorials on my site on how to use stretch stitches and stretch needles on your sewing machine, so check the links below this video in the description. My elastic is fraying quite a lot, so I need to stop fraying. I usually use a lighter to burn the edges of elastic, but be very careful with the lighter and always follow safety rules. elastic to the skirt. First of all gather the skirt a little so the length of the skirt or width of the skirt matches the length of the elastic band. We made uh, two rows of gathering stitches for this and uh, after gathering pin the elastic to the skirt.
Make a stitch by serger attaching the elastic to the skirt. Use for thread to needle stitch again. Sergers have absolutely no problem sewing over elastic. Now finish the side seams of the skirt. At this point the skirt is practically ready, but it still needs some finishing touches. I need to hide the thread tails at the hem of the skirt and lining left after I stitch the seams by serger.
so also the edges of the elastic secure them at the top of the waistband that's all now you know how to sew a skirt with an elastic waistband and uh, you can wear it practically with anything romantic chiffon blouses or chunky knit sweaters this wardrobe essential item fits perfectly into everyday life so if you have enjoyed this video please share it go ahead and subscribe now do it right now if you haven't done that already i want to thank you for watching and i will see you real soon